Do you have a management bonus program in place? It's more like an entitlement program. I gave you money last year, so I'm gonna give you money this year, and your managers expect it. Do you have a new manager or a manager you've hired from another restaurant says, I'm coming over, but your compensation package isn't large enough for me. I need a manager bonus program. And you're scrambling trying to figure out what the hell you should do. Well, if you need help with that, stay tuned. I'm gonna help you with that right now. Hello, this is David Scott Peters with TheRestaurantExpert.com and I see it time and time again. Restaurants want to have a bonus program. The first thing I can tell you, you can't have a bonus program in place if you don't have tools in place to measure your success. It starts with a budget, targets for us to shoot for, systems to put in place in order to achieve those numbers, and we measure because that which we measure improves. If you just simply want to give somebody more money, then give it to them their damn salary. Because the fact of the matter is, I don't want to bonus you for doing your damn job. I do want to give you a little more money if you can achieve the numbers expected, but it shouldn't be a major portion of my compensation. So it shouldn't be 50% as salary and 50% as potential bonus. It might be a few grand on a monthly basis on a high side. If I'm a general manager, it might be $1,000 on a quarterly basis. I don't know. Depends on your volumes, but it shouldn't be a major piece of my compensation because all too often all we do is give money and they expect more. So what it starts with is this. One, you need to have a budget in place. Two, you have to have systems in place. And let's say you don't have a budget, you don't have systems. We can help you with the budget, we can help you with the systems, but you've gotta put those in place. In other words, in the beginning, if I have no numbers, how about we bonus them for getting projects done? I'm gonna give you $200 if you get the key item report implemented and used on a daily basis. Another $100 if you get the waste sheet in place, implemented, used on a daily basis. And all of a sudden, each quarter that we get these things done, those drop off and our bonus program changes. In fact, I would tell you, I'm not gonna pay a bonus on a monthly basis. I can screw with inventory, screw you two months in a row, third month, food cost is high. Why? Because the shelves are barren, I can't hide it anymore. What, are you gonna take money back from me? I don't wanna pay monthly. Now, some people disagree with me, and that's okay, my opinion. I don't wanna pay yearly, because if I so miss my numbers, and I get six months into it, and I'm not gonna make my bonus even if I do a great job for the next six months, I'm demotivated, I'm gonna stop, so not annual. I like quarterly basis. This also allows me to change my bonus program every single quarter. If I'm busier, I'm gonna have harder numbers to reach. If I'm slower, I'm gonna have easier numbers to reach, and so on. So once I do that, a lot of people say, let's bonus you out of profit. I used to believe that. Problem is, I've got to come up with a modified profit, right? Do I have to tell them that I'm leasing a car out of the business and that's chewing up some of the money? No, they're going to feel pissed off. So what I want to do is I want to go off my prime cost numbers in the control of management. That's cost of goods sold and labor cost. How I hire, fire, train, utilize my people, purchase product, utilize that product. It's my report card as a manager. As a manager, I can't control what you pay for rent. So I'm gonna use a prime cost targets to bonus off of. I also wanna put those things that are important to me, whether I want health scores to be an A, I want to make sure that customer comment cards are filled out, that people are signing up X number of people every single quarter for our loyalty program. I don't care what it is. What's important to you? But if we look at the numbers you need to have, I would be looking at my cost of goods sold. I would be looking at food cost, I'd be looking at my poor cost by category, bottle beer, draft beer, wine, liquor. I'd be looking at NA Bay of all separately because they have their own targets. I'd be looking at my labor cost, front of house, back of house, or by position with a specific target. Then I might add my health scores, my comment cards, and they may not be, they might not be a percentage of my bonus, they might just be worth $100 or $200. But here's the deal, instead of profits, I might say I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna put in the bonus pool 1% of sales, 2%. Ultimately, how much money do you wanna put on there? That's what you make that percentage. Based on gross sales, it gives me a pool of money. And then I say, hey, general manager, you might get 50% of that. Chef, you might get 15% of that. Assistant manager, 15%, and the rest go to my hourly or MIT managers, managers in training. And what it says is, if I'm the GM and 50% of that pool, bonus pool is mine, doesn't mean I get it, it means it's available to me. Then based on my responsibility, I weight each of those items differently. So if I'm the chef, I might make food cost 40% of my bonus. 
labor costs 25% of my bonus, and then so on. This way, for the bar manager, cost goods sold, poor cost higher, labor cost, and so on. So I adjust it for the person. But again, here's, all, here's my bonus pool, let's say it's 50%. And 50% of that is, 25% of it's food cost and poor cost, 25% of that is for labor cost. If I hit my labor cost numbers, I hit my cost of goods sold numbers, I get the bonus. 50% or 25% or whatever that number is. But if I'm off a half point, if I'm off a point or dollar value, it goes down. If I'm off a little further, it goes further down. If I get two, three points off, you might not get a dime wipes out that whole line item, and we go step by step by step down the bonus pool, if you will. Here's the crazy part. When I'm a general manager, I'm in charge of everybody. So you know what? We've seen it with our consulting clients. We've seen it with our, our members in our software. You may find that you've got a general manager that makes less money than an assistant manager because they, they allowed the chef to go way over food cost, way over labor cost, and killed their numbers because ultimately, the GM's responsible for them all. This is how we can easily put together a bonus program and change it quarterly based on the needs of the business and your needs. Now, do you need help with a management training program? I'm sorry, a bonus program? What are you doing? Better yet, in the comment section below, what are the practices you've put in place to bonus your managers to make sure it's not an entitlement program? Also, make sure you subscribe now to my channel because I'll give you videos like this on a weekly basis to help you with your business. But before you go, I want to tell you about a free report I want to give you right now, the 10 lessons I've learned that any restaurant owner or manager must know to have any chance of making money, get their life back, have managers know their job. These lessons I've learned can literally be life-changing for you and your business. Simply take a moment right now, click on the link below, and opt in for my free report. Also, again, make sure you subscribe now to my channel and tune in next week when I talk about food cost and how you might change your menu seasonally to make sure you hit budget. Are you a seasonal business and you find that in the off season, your prime cost, total cost goods sold plus total labor cost goes through the roof and you're trying to figure out how you can change that?